Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Hi guys! Welcome to a new thing I'm gonna start doing, probably. We'll see how much you guys like it. And it's Binding of Isaac, uh, The Wrath of Lamb. And I've been playing this game quite a bit uh, after watching Northern Lion play it. Uh, probably most of you guys have already played it, because it's only 5 bucks on Steam, or five euros anyway, and two euros for the Wrath of Lamb expansion, and uh, I have been playing this game, like I said, I, uh, if you watch my stats, which I was opening up to, um, for some recording stuff, anyway, I have beaten the game and also beaten the extra boss that you get then uh, once. I kind of suck at this game. <laughs> As you can see, I have 75 deaths and one mom kill, which is kind of a spoiler. But anyway, and 134. 75 deaths for one kill isn't very good. <laughs> uh, but what can you do? I've also unlocked almost all of the characters. There are some secret characters you can't see here. And uh, I haven't unlocked Kane, surprisingly, only, although you only need 55 or more pennies to unlock him. And uh, yeah, if you don't know about this game, you should you should really know about this game. But anyway, uh, here's some gameplay, and I'll probably do one uh, one playthrough, no matter how far I get, unless I like die in the first floor or something. But I'll, uh, I'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, what I don't like about the expansion, rather than the lamb is that it makes the opening levels really hard, even if you just got the game. Uh, of course, once you beat the game, the game always gets harder and harder, uh, depending on how many times you beat the, beat the game. And I uh, the, didn't go all the way to the last boss. I've uh, 
I've been thinking about be just beating the second to last boss multiple times before I move on that far. So what is this item? Basically the whole idea of the game, if you uh, haven't played it before, why haven't you? Is that we're Isaac, we've been... We've escaped our mother into the basement, and uh, in the basement there's all sorts of other crazy stuff, which is probably kids sent down here before us by our mother, who've mutated. And uh, here it's kind of a, like a roguelike mixed with Zelda, uh, mixed with uh, shoot 'em up, uh, Smash TV kind of shoot 'em up, dual stick type thing. Rage, awesome. And uh, in every room, uh, in every floor, there is one uh, item room, at least one uh, secret room, sometimes two. In the expansion, they added another secret room you can find. Uh, one shop, possibly one library, and uh, you'll get the hang of it if you don't know. And the secret room is usually in between two, uh, two rooms, like here on the top left, you can see map. So we found the sick room and there's lots of money in there. Nice. Think about maybe on this run through saving up for Kane. Uh, which is an honor character with different starting statistics. Um, at this room down here you need to sacrifice some health to go down, but you sometimes get really nice items. If you go in there. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. Um, Wondering if I should. Uh, I'm really liking that I got uh, got this upgrade in the beginning. Uh, the upgrade I got, um, the more enemies I kill. Oh no! <laughs> Just saying, oh no, to the boss that I got. Pin is probably my least favorite boss in the basement. I always suck against Pin, and this is a champion version. Uh, meaning he has more health and attacks differently. Yeah, his uh, attack when he comes up is different. Actually, I think it might be easier to dodge. Eh, maybe. Well, it, it, the normal attack it doesn't that uh, hard to dodge. Either. I just tend to get hit by him stupid ways. Ah, oh, like that. I haven't been playing this game that for that long. I've been watching a lot of videos by Northern Lion mostly, but by other people as well. There really isn't many games that have this much value for uh, as little as this game costs. <laughs> See, I, I really suck at this game, so if you're looking for expert playthroughs <laughs> on this game, you're, you've come to the wrong place. Up, oh. got him. Okay, so we got the pentagram, which adds more damage. There's like over 200 items or something in the game. Uh, so, I'm just gonna show you a couple of these memories that Isaac has. It's not a very good memory. In case you haven't played the game, go get it. I think most people have already. Ah, why am I getting all these champion enemies? I mean, I've only beaten the game once, it shouldn't be that hard yet. I guess it's the combination of having the expansion installed. Up! Up! These guys are kind of a little pain in the ass to learn. Uh, you cannot shoot diagonally, uh, kind of like regularly, but you can use momentum to shoot diagonally. You can only shoot in the four uh, main directions, like using the arrow keys. Or, but if you like move like this, you can kind of shoot diagonally. So the, as you can see, my tears have gotten more powerful because I killed the enemy in the room. So each enemy I kill in a room, the more powerful my tears get. Here you can see my stats. So this movement. Hopefully you can see my cursor. Uh, this. Uh, I believe uh, rate of fire, this is damage, and this is uh, range. I might be getting those wrong, but hopefully not. And here's my health. Uh, this is my spacebar item, which I don't have any yet. And this is what kind of uh, tiers I have currently, <laughs> which game calls arrows. Can't get to this chest because rocks in the way. 
so let's move on. Don't have any bombs at the moment either. Not sure if I want to spend them on that anyway. Okay, let's see here. There are a ton of videos of this on YouTube, so I'm not sure if uh, my videos are gonna be anything people wanna watch. This is Trinket. Don't know what this trinket does. Uh, trinkets are not explained anywhere, unlike most items. Well, they are explained online. Uh, I'm not kind of a guy who likes to check online. I like to watch other people's videos on this, but I don't like going on like wikis and stuff. Uh, that's true for most games I play. I don't like checking online wikis. I like like strategy guides. That's fine, but online wikis I'm not a big fan of. Well, some games I might check them out, but most games I usually don't. Here we go, we got some bombs. Okay, so this is uh, the item room because it's gold. And let's go check it out. Lard, it gives us, I think, two more uh, health slots, uh, but it makes us move slower because we're fat. Okay, uh, down there is the arcade where we can earn more money and I said I was gonna save up on this run, and the arcade does have can give us some good items too, but eh, I don't feel like going there. Maybe I could fill up my hearts then. Let's see what else we have on this floor. Oh, God damn it. Oh, thought I could make it, but I think the lard kind of slowed me down. Or the fact that I'm fat because of it. I do love the rage power up or uh, item. If you play a Samson, which is one of the unlockable uh, characters, I think he's the first one I unlocked, and he came with the expansion, I believe. Um, he has this item from the get go, but he only starts with one heart and one spirit heart. Spirit hearts are like hearts that you can't get back. Um, and he, I don't think he can get uh, hard upgrades because the well, life never got in them with him anyway. So I think I will go for this chest actually. I think that was worth it. Not sure. Uh, now the secret room is probably here, but I usually get fucked when I try. money got a quite a good amount of money and we could bomb my way to the shop but uh, am I gonna try to save for Kane usually people get Kane by uh, playing the slot machines and getting a one dollar pill pill <laughs> bill and uh, I haven't gotten that lucky yet now let's go check out the shop you don't have to use a uh, key which is nice and an early steam sale is a good thing to get, I think. Let's do that. So we can check out the shops later on. And possibly get something like a battery or... A... I'm starting to sound like Northern Lion in... Yeah, I would like a battery. I would like a battery. Yeah. How about a battery? Maybe I should go check out the shop for a battery. <laughs> uh, I like the compass more myself. Uh, maybe that's his name. Uh, but yeah, I only finished the game uh, Mom's Heart once. Uh, uh, I did get close one other time. Why the hell do I keep getting uh, champion versions all the time? I don't know. And there's nothing, no small enemies to kill to get my uh, rage going either, so... Whoop! So this is one of the easier boss. Okay, there we go. Now I get my rage as well against this uh, smaller dude. I do sometimes have trouble with him, the smaller uh, Gemini, whatever it is, uh, because you can sometimes can't tell which way he's gonna bounce like that. When you hit him. So I do sometimes get hit at this point, stupidly. But he's one of the easier bosses, especially with this layout. Okay, 
So, got him. And we got cheers up. So that's nice. We've got plenty of hearts. Let's see. Oh, crap. Usually you get to make a deal with the devil uh, in this room. You get to give some of your hearts for an item or your heart slots. But uh, this time we have a fight with a mini boss, and I'm sucking at it. Uh, sucking at it quite badly. Whoa! Should have seen that one coming. Why am I so much better at two who than this? Well, I'm not horribly good at two who either, but I'm better at in two who than I am in this. It looks more range. Oh god. Maybe it's because I use like uh, fucking oh, I use. Uh, damn it! Dodge something. <laughs> I use. Um, Focus mode in two who has kind of a crutch, crutch, and also two who you have much smaller hitbox than in this. Oh, got him! Phew! This Joker, I don't remember what the Joker does. Uh, the lump of coal makes you do more damage, I believe. Usually you shoot. Oh yeah, the reason why I'm not shooting lumps of coal is because I was. Uh, I had uh, the rage thing. I don't remember what the Joker does, so we're gonna move on. Let's watch this thing for you new guys. I I didn't think anybody would not have played this game, but I was talking to uh, a friend of mine, and uh, he actually hadn't played the game. So I guess there are some people. You really should go get this on Steam. It's practically free. <laughs> Uh, especially compared uh, to how much gameplay value you get. You can't get to that currently. I wonder if the Joker gives us health. <laughs> it's used in a room with enemies. Um, I will use a bomb. Because there might be a secret room and it'll make me a bridge. Because if you use a bomb near a rock that's placed like this, it'll make a you will make a bridge if you use bomb or rock. Let's use the... Oh! Joker takes us to our room. Like I was talking about before. It allows us to give our heart uh, slots for an item. These two items are both really good. That one gives us more damage. It's called the Pact. And this one... I don't remember. It makes us fly, I think. I actually get that one. No, it's Brimstone! Fuck! I've never had Brimstone before, but I've seen it in a Northern Lion video. It's like the best damage dealing item in the game, I think. One of the best, anyway. I should have loaded my shot before going in. Okay, so basically it's... Uh, I might have a chance of beating the game. Maybe. Hopefully. Let's not fuck this up. Can I let go? Yeah, I'm, I've never used this before, so I'm not sure how I'm... You can shoot through rocks. I would like more damage, but I guess it's... Yeah, all the... Even if you get a new power-up, most of the power-ups in the game stack. So even... I still... Even though I have this thing, I still have my rage power-up, so... If I kill enemies, uh, my brimstone should get more powerful. It should already be... My damage at, is at max. Uh, I'm not sure if they go higher than what you can see on the screen. I put like more health right now. <laughs> I'm not very good at the game, if, in case I didn't mention that. Uh, my character has gone a different color those enemies like he does in uh... Oh, fuck! <sighs> I don't know how long you have to charge this thing, is the problem. Since I've never used it before. I'm using this. <sighs> Be a good pill. Pretty fly, very good pill. Oh, not very good. It's a good pill. Let's go in the shop. 
Okay. I will buy... Have, I, have we used any of those pills yet? Let's... Oh, God. Um, let's... This thing allows us to carry two trinkets at once, but um, I'll grab that if we run into another trinket on this level, maybe. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of any of these items, but I don't want to die, so I'll grab this and this. Just like uh, if like someone like Northern Lion was playing, he wouldn't grab any of that crap. <laughs> but uh, I suck at this game a lot more, so... There we go. Now I wish I had a ladder or was able to fly. Should I go fight the boss already? I think I should. Oh, Gertie, great. Load! Fuck! Come on! Ah! I hate you, Gertie! Okay, my pretty fly is taking some hits for me. That's good. I do love this power-up. Ah! It's just, uh, the reason why I'm not shooting sometimes is I'm not sure how long I need to charge it. I guess my head starts to um, uh, turn red. Okay, so this is a pointless power-up for us, for us uh, which just gives us range up. <sighs> I'm wondering, oh yeah, we haven't gotten the item room on this level yet, so... Let's go check that out. I sometimes forget stuff like that when playing this game. Forget the item room and... Hopefully I haven't forgotten it in this video. Because people would be mad. People who've played this game. Uh, especially in the... Uh, expansion, there's so much stuff you can get sometimes that you forget stuff like that. I love this upgrade. Uh, if only I could fly now, because flying is usually what gets me through this game. Oh, death is a good card. It kills everything on the screen, basically, if I remember right. Okay, I have a key. Good. This makes my bombs... First of all, it gave me five bombs, and it makes my bombs do poison damage, which is nice. Uh, it's good if you have also have homing bombs, which I've done sometimes. Was it actually on my winning run? Uh, might have been. Okay, let's check these rooms too. Why not? Okay, so that's we could like that's a sacrificial thing. You can sacrifice hearts, but you never know how many hearts it's gonna be, and uh, you might get in the treasure chest, good or bad, and you might have something cool. Yeah, it's better for like Maggie, John character who starts with more health. Why did I get hit in an easy room like this? Uh, that, that kind of shows how bad I am in this game. Okay, so the secret room is either here or... Or it's down there. Or it's down there. <laughs> or there's... Or it's somewhere else. There, there are a few possibilities. Oh yeah, I already checked that room. I forgot. Okay. Okay, so we have more... Coins? Nothing in those. Another way you can see that I'm not very good at the game is I check all the poop and all the fire for hearts and uh, spirit hearts and all that. Caves 2. Oh, nice, except that I don't have a key. <laughs> okay, so we'll be back here. If and when we find a key. Oh shit, these guys. So these guys have these, those fucking. Oh god. These guys have those fucking uh, skulls, and when they go down uh, inside their skulls, they can withstand a fucking nuclear explosion without taking any damage. This is a mob trap room. So basically, if you open that chest, or take whatever's in the room, 
you have to fight three waves of mobs before you can, you're allowed out. Uh, which is kind of annoying. Uh, it's worth sometimes if there's something better in the room. That chest is not worth it. Well, there could be a key inside that chest, so we might reconsider it later. Maybe? Fuck. <laughs> Everywhere I go, they want me to take damage. Okay, let's see here. Oh fuck. Okay, these things, you don't have to wait to go down. Actually, I, I like fighting the red ones more than I like uh, these ones. Nice. Okay, let's go down here. These guys are actually really simple to take out. Even without the brimstone. Just stand here. These can, guys can't shoot up or down, so... There we go. What do we have in here? Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I think this uh, this videos might be entertaining only because oh there's a key uh, okay only because if you watch a lot of videos by other people they probably know what they're doing and they're good at the game I'm total shit at the game like <laughs> only reason why I got the through the game is because I was playing with Maggie and I got the most amazing run with amazing items I was flying I had like max damage and everything and I still had trouble at the bosses so I just suck at this game amazingly okay plop uh, or it's called the peeper and uh, it plops uh, one of my eyes out uh, which does damage if it hits enemies I think it also makes me do more damage I think does it make my laser look different I think it does I might not have just noticed what my laser looks like, but I think it makes a difference. Huh? I don't know. So now we could just head to the boss, but I kind of want to check out the shop because we still don't have a space bar item. And maybe there will be uh, some more health because I would really like some more health. Oh, there will be been a key here as well. Well, that's useful for the next level. Next level tactics. Um, God damn it. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that you have to charge for so long the uh, brimstone, but I mean brimstone is fucking amazing. Though. Okay, there's a chestception here. Get some stuff. And here we have the shop. And greed, which is a mini boss that sometimes appears in shops or uh, secret rooms. Thank you, pretty fly, for taking that hit, so I didn't have to. Okay, so uh, no shop for this level. Let's move on to the next level. Let's see how far we can go, how low we can go. Uh, no, I want to have as much health as I can to the boss. Who is it gonna be? Oh, Chad! I haven't fought Chad before. I just unlocked the ability to fight him. We're gonna use this thing and <laughs> kill him in one shot. And we got little Chad, who gives hearts. Uh, every couple of rooms, he gives us uh, half a heart, I believe, and he looks fucking cute. Uh, Chad is uh, a boss in uh, Super Meat Boy, I believe. Uh, which I just played recently again on PC. Um, I've played it quite far on Xbox 360. It get, just gets so fucking difficult. Um, but I guess that's the point of the game to get difficult. <laughs> I think sometimes the. Uh, oh, fucking dicks! Oh, thank you, sir. I think uh, the sometimes the retro, retro, 
platformers go a little overboard with their oh we're so retro we're so difficult they sometimes go a little overboard with it <laughs> i don't know maybe this is me oh another pretty fly so now we have double protection uh, i'm just a little scared to use this oh it's just bad gas so that would have uh, caused any enemies next to us to get poisoned by our fart. It's actually quite fun to have uh, an item called the bean, which causes you to do that at will. <laughs> Once every room. So I. Uh, it's pretty fun to do that. These guys spawn fucking spiders, and I hate fucking spiders. Oh. Talking about hating stuff, I hate these, <laughs> these things too. Oh god. I wonder if I should just blow up. And this uh, spider web makes you, makes you slow down as well, so... Oh no! Not these guys. Not these guys, not these guys. My least favorite enemy, by far. You can't kill the um, masks, they die when you kill the hearts. The masks just kill me all the time. Oh, this fucker. Oh, god. Super red fire. Okay, I'm gonna die on this level, that's fucking great. I'm just doing so well. I need health, or health ups. Um. Okay, so, let's, oh, that is just fucking, oh, fuck! Probably nothing here, but oh 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 So that guy picks up uh, coins if you can't get to them first, and uh, he gives you an item once he has enough money, I believe. Okay, so let's let him pick up that money because I already have enough. Okay, I don't. I can't afford that. Ooh, there's the boss and uh, little chat drops us a heart. Kind of want to just do the boss. But I also kind of want to find the shop. The problem is that there's the fucking, uh, fucking, fucking. Uh, Those things are here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did that happen? <laughs> you! You pushed it to me, didn't you? Oh god, he does the same thing that Super Meat Boy, or just Meat Boy does. He pushes stuff around and he pushed the bomb to me. Well, that fucks me over. Okay. Whoop. I'm gonna play... Ooh, fuck. I would have to... Okay, there's some coins here, which I can give to this dude, and maybe he'll give me an item that helps me out. See, this is what always happens in my runs. I get totally fucked. Oh, that is a good item. Uh, it makes uh, some of my shots be uh, poisonous, but now I can't really see which ones. Uh, God damn it. I kind of want to go play that, but uh, if my uh, walking is shit, I'm gonna die, so... Whew! I, I don't know what you can get from this. These new kind of items, uh, items, shops, um, things. Uh, what did that do? Well, you can get a heart. Huh, I don't know. I'm gonna go the other way, do a little exploring. Hopefully, the sick rooms here. Oh yeah, I guess I could have given you some money as well. 
Well, they already gave me a bomb. Not sure if the pink guy even works with this thing or if I'm wasting it, but whatever. I hate that some of your friends can push the bombs. It would be in a much better situation if they didn't, and I'm gonna die. Fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Well, that's that. I usually die around this part anyway, because I suck. But anyway, uh, maybe I'll get better at the game, and maybe some stupid fucking greedy bum won't push my bombs back at me. I blame this guy over here. It's all your fault. Well, maybe not. It's mostly your fault. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I'm Turmion. Bye.